Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi. How are you today? How was your day? Good. That's good. Okay, that is nice. Welcome everyone. Welcome to this class. This is the class 17. Today is July 26. Let me share my screen. Okay, so today the main purpose of this lesson will be, well, the agenda is the lesson objective. We're going to write an email conversation practice. So at the end of this class, the students will be, able, will be able to write an email recommending a workshop or training using simple past. Okay, that will be the main um, purpose for this for this class. Okay. Um let me see. Okay. We have Gilberto, Hazel, Daniela, Roberto Carlos, Salvador, and Jose Andres. Okay. Six students. Okay. Good evening, Chair. Good evening Hazel. Lo siento por ayer, estoy saliendo tarde ya por cierre y, y después tenía mi, una mi mascota bastante grave y nos hicieron un mal proceso, la estaba oyendo, pero ay, no podía porque sí tenemos bastante delicado este peluso. Ay, lo siento. Y lo tengo bastante grave, tiene problemas renales, es un gatito y Ay, hicieron un desastre en la veterinaria con el sondaje, entonces estábamos bien, llegamos, fuimos a las once y media de la noche de la veterinaria, entonces, y por eso ya se me hizo un poco difícil y sí estamos, bueno, de hecho todavía estoy, pues voy camino a casa, pero, pero sí eso, y espero estar, poder estar un poquito más concentrada en la clase. Ok, thank you. Gracias, thank you gracias. Ok. Okay, guys, welcome everybody. Welcome everyone. Okay, we have questions, okay, in past tense. We're going to uh, use the wheels uh, to make these kind of questions. Okay, the first one, uh, raise your hands if you want to be a volunteer. Okay, Jose Andres. Okay, thank you so much, Jose Andres. Okay, the first question will be for you. Okay, what was the best day of your life? Do you remember one day that you consider that it that has been the best? Yes, teacher. I can say that when I was when I got married. Mm -hmm. It's the expression. Yeah, got married. Yes. Yes, when I got married with my wife, because she sang me in the past song, sang. Yes. No. Uh -huh. And so she sang me. She makes a song and she sang to me. Wow. In the, in the yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> I remember these days. This day. <laughs> okay. That was nice. Okay. Good. Ah, uh, thank you so much. So let me see. Uh Gilberto, you will be next. Okay, Gilberto, go back, okay? Remember when you were a teenager, what did your bathroom look like? 
what, uh -huh. what did your bedroom, your bedroom look like when you were a teenager? Do you remember that? Gilberto? Hola, hola. Yes? Yes. Do you remember your bathroom when you were a teenager? What did your bedroom look like when you were a teenager? Mm -hmm. Let me know if you understand the question. If not, I can help you. Quiere decir que cómo era, ¿ok? Cómo, cómo se miraba su cuarto, ¿ok? Cómo lo tenía usted organizado, ordenado. When you were a teenager, cuando usted era un joven. Joven, uh, teenager means between... Uh, between 14 to 18. Uh, my experience in, in bedroom loop in 16 years uh, Go uh, ar, eh, ¿cómo le podría decir? Como recibimos eh, a los 17 años, tuve un entrenamiento militar y ahí la disciplina eh, bien estricta, ¿verdad? No sé cómo expresarla, ¿verdad? Ok. Uh, when you were 17. So you went you went yeah. to the um to the military academy? Yes. So you remember that. So you have a, a hard training that was really yeah. difficult for you because it was really hard. Um so you had to comply with a lot of rules and follow um all the rules that they they have right okay yes, yes i understand that but uh, your bedroom is talking about how your bedroom looked like it was it was uh ordenado desordenado how do you say that remember uh, yes uh, ordenado how do you say study... ordenado in english i remember I remember that I teach I I um that was part of one class. Was teenager. Aha. Uh -huh. Tidy. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. My bedroom yes. was tidy. My my bedroom was tidy. Yes, starting tidy. in day 4 a.m. In, in the morning. In training, training every day. Okay. Then, then take a shower. Seven o'clock. Uh, uh, a x brave uh, get brave uh, x a o'clock the morning. Then. Mm -hmm. Training nuevamente, training new, every day, hard in tra training military. Okay. Um, remember to use the past 
tense, ¿ok? Siempre, siempre utilice los verbos en pasado uh, when you are speaking in past, ¿ok? Try to use okay. them. Ok. Ok. Um, Liliana, are you there? Liliana? Ok. Ok, it will be next. Where did you go on your last vacation? It's not necessary that you give me a lot of information. Just one sentence is ok. But try to use the correct verb in past tense. Where did you go on your last vacations? Mm -hmm. uh, la, creo, eh, la puntilla. <laughs> I went. I went. To the beach. To the beach. Puntilla. La puntilla. La puntilla. Okay. Remember to use the past tense. Okay. Okay. Good. Silvia, you will be next. Silvia Stella, are you there? Okay. Okay. What did you eat for your last meal? What did you eat for dinner today? What did you eat for you last meal? Last meal. Mm -hmm. Entonces estamos hablando. Uh, for your last you meal, your dinner today, right? You already take your dinner, right? Uh -huh. I did the. Sería, I dinner. I ate, I ate. I ate. I ate. I ate. Um, Potatoes, mm -hmm. um, egg, mm -hmm. milk, yes, um, um, sería beans, beans, mm -hmm. yes, nothing, oh, o sea, solamente. Only that. Okay. Only that. Okay, thank you so much. Good. Okay, Daniela, you will be next. Are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. <laughs> Who was your favorite teacher at a school? Do you remember? My favorite teacher. Um, I was Higo. Oh, my favorite. My favorite teacher was, and you said the name. My favorite teacher was, um, your name, no, her name era, <laughs> so you don't remember your favorite teacher? So in that no. in that case was no your favorite. No tenía la verdad. <laughs> uh -huh. Because if you don't have a favorite, okay, I remember uh, my favorite uh, my favorite teachers uh, at elementary school, at high school, at the university. I remember all of them. So mm -hmm. okay. You didn't have. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Robert, you will be next. Robert, are you there? Robert? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. When was the last time you were excited about, about something? What? Do you remember? Okay. When was the last time you were excited? Yeah. Excited about what? Mm -hmm. When was the last time you were you were excited? Do you know what is that, right? That what is excited? Yeah, yeah. I I remembered 
the last time I was excited was when I stayed my my first days in in class because that day was very important for me because English is is one English is one a goal for my for my study for that reason this is my my time my time when I was very excited oh your first your first English class yeah that was the yeah uh, six oh. um, six months ago okay good thank you so much Robert okay Salvador Alberto are you there Salvador hola yes okay what was the last movie that you saw or that you watched <laughs> the last movie I was the movie uh, <laughs> el nombre you don't remember or maybe Galact what was your Galacti. favorite movie what what was your favorite movie this year guardian of the galaxy is the last movie i oh. saw oh, okay <laughs> okay thank you ah uh, kati briseida are you there kati yes okay next is for you okay what was your country what was your country like when you were a child do you remember? Or we can change that. What was your neighborhood? Your your subvecindario, okay? Your neighborhood, like, como era su vecindario when you were a child? It was beautiful. It was um, <clears throat> small. I don't know how you describe it. Um, the country. Is, um... No, your neighborhood. We're going to change it to your neighborhood. A su vecindario, a su colonia. Okay, um, there were few people. Few peoples? Yes. Um, okay. Beautiful. Was beautiful? Yes. Um, only. Only that. Yes. Okay, thank you so much. We're going to eliminate it. Okay, Cindy, Janet, are you there, Cindy? Yes, sure. Okay. Okay. What is your funniest memory? Um. I my, my best moment was the high school. The high school. Yeah, okay. My high school. Okay, good days. Yeah, high school, the best times. Okay, Mauricio, are you there, Mauricio? 
Mauricio. Okay, Julio, are you there? Yes. Okay, Julio. What was your best memory from when you were a child? Do you remember? Yeah. Um. Um. A, um. I was. Mm -hmm. Um. Ten. Ten years. Ten years old. Uh huh. Ten years old. Um. It. I participated. Pasado participar. I participated. I participated in a contest. Um. Uh, a contest. A regional contest. I win the. I won. Okay. Or win. I won. I won the uh, three uh, cheers uh, place. Um, eh, me regalaron. They gave you. They gave you. Uh, they gave me. Uh -huh. They gave and they gave me a uh, cheers. And okay. this, this was his prime. Uh, 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 premio? Reward. Uh huh. Okay. That, uh -huh. Okay. Uh, okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Using a lot of uh verbs in past. That is the main purpose, okay? That you speak in past tense. Okay. Um, let me see who is missing. Rolando Danilo, did you participate? Yes, teacher. Do you want to participate again? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Did you have a pet when you were younger? Mm, I remember I was a boy. Um, my favorite pet is is cat teacher. Um, cat. Yes. Okay. Uh, I I was remember. The cat is is gone. To, uh, I was cry, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> and now you don't have a cat. Uh, I, I don't know, teacher. No, no, no cat. No cat. Yes. Okay. Well, I have a cat. I had a cat. Okay. I have it. Yeah. His name is Snowball. Because it's, it's white. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Who else? Uh, volunteers to participate? Okay. Jose Andres. Well. What the last dif difficult things that you did? That last difficult thing that I have, that uh -huh. I did. Yeah. Um, Maybe well, in your job? Yeah. <clears throat> in, for me, it, it's not the last. Thing that, that I did, but for example, he asked me what the last, what the thing, or yeah, what, what one of the thing, mm, difficult thing that I did in my life. Mm -hmm. And was, for example, you have changed the question because I, I think that um, it was 
when I shoot my first weapon. Was shot, difficult shot. for you? Yeah, in the first time, yes. For me, I think that is for every people, everyone. That when they have to to shoot with a weapon, it, the first time it was difficult. More, not for the weapon, for the pistol. Uh, no, no, for the, yeah, for the weapon it's not too difficult. More when it's, uh, I don't know what is the name in English, teacher, escopeta. <clears throat> Mm, okay, let me see. Escopeta. So you you have different kind of uh yeah we have different kind of weapons. Uh, escopeta the is short and large. Sh shotgun. Shotgun. So mm -hmm. yeah. So for shotgun. me the first time. Shotgun. Shotgun. Okay, mm -hmm. teacher. For for me the last the most difficult thing. It was when I shoot a shotgun in the the when yeah when I was to, when I was shot, shot, shot when I shot, shot when I shot, when I shot in pass uh -huh. when I shot in the first time a shot a shotgun a shotgun shotgun a shotgun okay okay yes I imagine. <laughs> it's it, uh, yeah it seems that it that is difficult okay good the last one who wants to participate what did you do for your last birthday that is the question who wants to answer that me teacher okay robert Okay, teacher, I remember my last birthday, my family, uh, we went to the beach and I remember uh, they bought a cake for me and I don't, I don't eat cake I didn't, at the beach because... I didn't eat, I didn't eat, I'm sorry. I didn't eat, okay, I didn't, I didn't eat the case mm -hmm. at the beach because I I ate fish, cocktail, on other, but the beach I I didn't I didn't eat. Um, but after that I uh, we went to went to the pool and I was swimming a lot because uh, I liked and I remember that's very interesting. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. No Rob. beer. No beers. <laughs> no beer. No beer. No beer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Very good. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Uh we are going to continue. Do you remember the exercise that we were doing yesterday? Do you remember? Yes. The conversation or the dialogue that we were in, uh, writing. Okay, we're going to continue with that. Uh, let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mauricio and Liliana, are you here both? Yes? You are going to continue here, okay, in this chat in this post that you have here. Mauricio, you have one question for Liliana. When did you go to the to the beach last time? So Liliana, please reply to Mauricio here. Okay. Okay, Silvia, I, I don't remember if who wrote first was Silvia or Salvador, I don't remember. Who was? Silvia, Silvia, a question? You were the first one? Usted fue la primera que escribió aquí? Yes, yes teacher. Okay. You, you have here one, two, three, one, two, four, three four, five, five. five questions. And Salvador have just one, two answers. Okay, I arrived to 11 p.m. My last vacation was on June. 
Okay. Uh, remember to check spelling, okay? It is important. Lo ideal es que hagan una conversación así como Robert y Carlos, ¿ok? Que esperen la respuesta de una pregunta para que luego respondan, para que luego hagan la otra, ¿ok? So, both can ask questions. Ambos pueden preguntar, ¿ok? Um, let me see, Gilberto en Rolando. Ok, Rolando, Gilberto, Rolando... Okay, Gilberto. Ok, write your name at the beginning, así como se los puse aquí para no perdernos, ok? Who wrote that? Roberto, dos puntos, Carlos, dos puntos, and then you, you write the equation or the answer. Ok? So, continue working on that. Uh, Robert, you were working with Carlos, right? Is Carlos here? Or he, he he is not here yet. I I think it's not here, teacher. Okay. Uh let me see who else can work with you. It's okay. We're going to Fully. Guys, hello, teacher. Creo que hay problema. Pueden escuchar. Ahorita sí. Ok. Ok. I don't know what was the problem. The internet is working. Ok, Julio, are you there? Yes. Julio? Yes. Ok, Julio. Yes. Ok, let me start one post, then that will be for you. Julio. Eh. And Robert. You can start a conversation here in este post. Pueden iniciar una, una conversación aquí, preguntas. Okay, Robert, you can start with the first questions for Julio and then Julio will reply, okay? Okay. Uh, let me see what else. Okay, uh, let me see. Robert and Julio. Okay, Gilberto, you continue with um Rolando, okay? Okay. Jose Andres, Andres with Cindy, Liliana and Mauricio. Okay, William Roque, are you available or are you just listening? Okay, Juliana, are you available? Liliana, Juliana? Mm. Okay, Carla is just listening. Wilbur is just listen, listening. Okay, Silvia will work, will work with Salvador. Is Salvador here? Yes. Okay. Yes. Hazel is... Uh, yeah. Solo de oyente. Ok, Daniela, are you available, Daniela? Yes. Ok, let me see if I can find someone. Ok. Ok, Julio, you can reply to Robert. He already asked, asked one question to you. Ok. Ok. Let me see, Salvador is working. Okay, Katy. Katy, uh, are you available, Katy? Yes. Okay, in that case, you will work with um, okay, you will work with um, Daniela, okay? Daniela. Okay. Katy. 
Okay, Daniela, you can start the conversation here. One question for Kathy. Kathy will reply. Okay, thanks. Teacher, para escribir en la de nosotros con Mauricio. ¿Cómo entro a eso, teacher? Oh, I sent the link to you yesterday, but let me send it again. In the chat is... Here is. There you have it. There you have it. Okay. Uh, Daniela and Kathy, what you have to do is just uh, click here, donde dice add comment, agregar comentario, and there you, you can um, write your name, okay, colon, Su, su, su nombre, dos puntos, and then the question, okay? And then the other will reply, okay? Okay. There you have the link in the chat. If you have okay, questions, teacher. please let me know. Yes, thanks. Okay, let me see who else. Okay, he's already working. Mauricio. Está de oyente. Okay, Julio is already working. Maria Leticia está de oyente. Silvia is already working with Salvador. Okay. Okay, remember to answer the question, okay? No, no respondan con otra pregunta. For example, here, Gilberto and Rolando. Okay, did you have vacation last year? Venía a la vecina, ¿vas a venir? Okay, did you have vacation last year? What will be the answer for that question? Yes, Silvia? Teacher, tengo que moverme eh, unos 10 minutos. Como está en el teléfono, este, no voy a poderle contestar, solo voy a estar de oyente para 10, como 10, 15 minutos. Ok. Salvador, are you there? Yes. Ok, try to answer the questions, ok? Ok, okay. here we have one, two, three, four, five questions. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, Daniela says, did you do your math homework? Did you do your math homework? Kathy, are you studying uh, math? ¿Estás estudiando math? No. 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 So you can answer, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. Y después ella me pregunta algo a mí. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Okay. Last Sunday I went to play soccer. Okay. That was the question for uh Julio. Okay, Robert, you can ask another question. Did you go to the store? Mm -hmm. What about you? Did you go to the store, to the, to the supermarket, or to the mall? Who is asking these questions? 
Gilberto or Rolando? Oh. Because I can see just questions, yeah. but I can I don't see answers. Yo le estoy preguntando a Rolando. Okay, did you visit? Uh, pero esperes a que él le responda para que le haga otra pregunta, ok? Ok. Eh, hey, teacher. Mm -hmm. I answered the question of Robert and then I do a question to Robert. Oh, hey, I, I simply uh, answer the questions, the question. Um, both. I mean, you can answer and in, in, in make another question or just answer okay. the question. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Katy tiene que preguntarme algo. Yes. Remember to use past tense, okay? That is the main focus. Okay, let me check the attendance. You can continue uh, doing uh, questions. Writing questions, so I'm going to check the attendance. Okay. Hey, Carlos is not here. Cindy? Is here, yes. Daniela? Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Gilberto? Present teacher. Thank you. Juli Juliana? Hazel? Present. Jose Andres? Present teacher. Okay, Julio Aristides. Present, present. Okay, thank you. Carla. Y Daddy. <clears throat> okay, uh, Kathy. Present. Lady. I guess lady is sleepy because she said that she told me that today we'll go to another place. And, I mean, we'll travel. She said that, well, yesterday she said, I will get up at 4, 4 a.m. So it means that she's sleepy. Okay, Liliana, Laura. Present teacher. Okay. Maria Leticia is here. Mauricio. Mauricio is here. Yes. Carlos. Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. Rolando Danilo. Present teacher. Okay. Salvador Alberto. Present teacher. Okay, Sylvia, Wilbur, and William. William, Rocky. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you so much, guys. Okay, let me Please see. Share. Mm -hmm. I have a question for Julio. Yes. Julio, are you there? Uh, yeah. I did. Uh, uh, I answered uh, one question. Uh, no, the last question. I answered yeah, uh, two questions. Okay. Okay. That's right, Julio. Uh, can you tell me your phone number, please? Yeah. I... I have your phone number. I write uh, right now. I 
write to you. I send a, a, a chat. Okay, thanks. Thanks, okay, guys. Okay. When you are ready, I will give you another uh, five minutes and then we are going to read the conversation that you have done, okay? Try to do another questions, please. Try to write. Try to write then. Try to take advantage of these five minutes. Daniela, answer the question that Kathy said to you. Sí, yo le daré buen día, Meliche. Daniel, uh, Liliana. Sí, yo le pregunté, teacher. Oh, you, you, okay. Es que no sé quién fue porque ahí dice. Sí, el nombre. Uh, Uh -huh. Ajá, escribe su, nom su nombre para make sure who, who made a question and who answered. If you don't know the spelling of the word, Google it, okay? To make sure what is the correct spelling because I can see a spelling mistakes. Okay, one minute.
Okay, we're going to start reading. First will be Andres and Cindy. Yes, teacher. Okay, just allow me a moment. Andres and Cindy. Here you are. You start on this. Can you see? Yes, teacher. Okay. <coughs> Read the conversation, Andres. You will be the first one I'm, and then I'm sorry. send the reply. I'm sorry, I don't. I don't listen to you, teacher. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Did you visit the Tunco Beach the last vacation? Cindy? Okay. Están viendo mi pantalla, ¿verdad? Oh no. Yes, teacher. Okay, mm -hmm. está en mi pantalla. Here is your con your conversation. <coughs> this one. Oh no, no, no. no. Uh -huh. Move you. You are right. Okay, Andres and Cindy. Okay, did you visit the Tunco Beach last vacation? That was the question. What will be your answer here, Cindy? Yes, I did, Andres. I visit with my family. Okay. Cindy, did you study at the university the last year? No, no, I didn't, but I would like to continue studying. Okay, Cindy. What did you eat in your lunch yesterday? I remember I eat chicken soup. Okay, Cindy, what time did you arrive to your job yesterday? I always try to arrive before 7 a.m. Cindy, did you have some problem in your job the last week? Mm, no, I didn't really know how it, but it was a very tiring week. Cindy, did you visit some client of your job the last month? Mm, no, Andres. At uh, my job, we don't visit clients. And Cindy, how did you feel in your first job? Uh, actually, I actually feel really good. Okay, very good. So, a uh, spelling here, client. It is like an Spanish, right? El teléfono, el correcto. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Okay, remember to use punctuation here. No, I didn't. Okay. At my job, we don't visit clients. Spelling and capitalization. Esta M es letra uh, mayúscula. Uh, if there is no period, si no tenemos un punto, no usamos mayúsculas, okay? And try to, to, to remember. Um, okay, lo perdí. What is it? It's here. It's Andrés and Cindy. Yes. Yes, uh huh. Here, if we don't have a period, si no tenemos un punto, no usamos mayúscula, pero si tenemos un punto, sí, okay? Very good. That was good. Thank you so much. Okay, Andres and Cindy. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let me see. Now will be Julio and Robert. Ready? Robert, you start here. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Continue, Robert. You will start. 
Uh, Julio, are you ready? Julio? Julio? Uh, sorry, sorry. I'm here. Okay. What did you do last Sunday? Uh, last Sunday, I went to play soccer. Uh, what about you, Robert? Okay, last Sunday, I went to the race in the morning. After that, I took a nap. Did you go to the store? Uh, yes, Robert. I went to the store, but no uh, last Sunday. I went last Saturday. Uh, Julio, are you ready? Oh, oh, that's right, Julio. And... What did you buy at the store? Robert, I didn't buy nothing. Uh, Robert, did you watch a movie last weekend? Oh, first, Julio, you watch only shopping window at the store. Yeah, and yeah Robert, you... yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. answer, did you watch a movie last weekend? Yes, I watched a movie uh for example i watch trap this movie is very funny and you can watch it with the whole family and you can laugh a lot this funny is very very this movie is very funny my favorite character is donkey because always said funny things and my favorite thing is when she can feel a fell in love because they prefer feeling. The other thing good for me is when Shrek in Puss in Boot uh, fought at the forest. And in my opinion, this movie is very funny and you can watch it with the whole family and you can laugh a lot. Thanks, Julio. Thank you, Robert. I, I take your recommendation. And about your your uh, question um, about is was uh, your question is you was only shopping windows yeah I only I only I saw windows mm -hmm. thank you Robert okay, okay that's fine right for you <laughs> <laughs> thank you okay it is the other way around okay window shopping okay window shopping. Window shopping, uh huh. When you got solo vitrinia, right? <laughs> <laughs> yes, teacher. <clears throat> okay. Okay, very good job. Just um, punctuation and capital capitalization. Okay, be careful with that. Okay, then everything is is good. Thank you okay. so much. Okay. Okay, good. Um, let me see. Okay, Mauricio and Liliana, are you ready? Mauricio and Liliana? Yes, yes. Okay. Mauricio, you will be the first one. Uh, first one. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. When did you go to the beach last time? The last time I said to the beach was January of the year. I went. I okay. went. Ay, perdón, sí, la voy a. Es que me sé que el teclado ahorita. Okay. Liliana, your question? Okay. When was the time you went to the supermarket? Aquí, no um, sé quién, quién hizo la que, pregunta y quién hizo la respuesta. O sea, porque aquí solo dice Liliana. Sí, ajá, o sea, como él no me contestaba, bueno, yo dije, voy a hacer las que... Las que... <risa> Pero igual que ah. la conteste, o que la conteste, no sé, ajá. 
Sí, porque no sabía si, si estaba... Ah, ok, la hizo usted sola, ok. Okay. Pero igual, él me puede dar su respuesta. Ajá. Ok. Ok. When was the time you went to the supermarket? Uh -huh. I... When was the time? I, I went to the supermarket at... Uh, eight o'clock. When? Today? Uh, yesterday. Yesterday. Okay. Yes. Okay. Good. Liliana, the other question. What was the the day you went to church? What's the day you went to church? <laughs> uh, I went to to church on Sunday. On Sunday. Okay. Okay. Also, Liliana, remember the other uh, way is when did you go? When did you go? Oh, okay. mm -hmm. When did you go to the supermarket? When did you go to the church? Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, Silvia and Salvador, are you ready? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Ok, you will. Ok, aquí veo todas las preguntas juntas y luego veo las respuestas. So, okay. you are going to ask one question and he, and he will answer, ok? Perfecto. Ok. Salvador, what time did you arrive at home yesterday, yesterday night? Arrive. Arrive? I arrived at to 11 p.m. <laughs> okay, I arrived <laughs> arrived to 11 to 11. Okay. The other question, Sylvia? Uh -huh. Yeah, when were you go on your last vacation? My last vacation was in June. Uh -huh. But where, when, where you go? So when, where is it here? When? Where? When? Ah, sería where. Where, ¿a dónde usted, fue? Usted me dijo ayer que when, teacher. Pero o sea, when es cuando, cuando. When did Ajá. you have the last Ajá. vacations? Yes, cuando fueron sus últimas vacaciones. Pero aquí Ajá. yo entiendo que es where, where did you go? Right. Uh -huh. ¿Dónde fuiste? In your last vacation. Okay, sí. vacations here no, Entonces, no lleva, no lleva E. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Next. Sería, did you see the class yesterday night? Yes, I saw the class yesterday. Did you see or did you attend? Did you see? Okay, si ¿sí vio el video o, a, o yes. estuvo en la clase. Did you see? Ver el video. Okay. So that case will be, did you watch the class yesterday? Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Sería, did you, did you play soccer last week? Salvador? No. No, I played <laughs> basketball. No, I uh -huh. didn't. Okay. No, no, I didn't. I played basketball. No, I didn't. Okay. Sería, what did you what did you do on your work two two day ago? I wrote a report of cost control. Okay. Okay, good. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Very good. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Okay, Rolando and Gilberto. Okay. <clears throat> Rolando, did you work last weekend? 
Yes, I did. I work at I work last weekend from eight eight a.m. to four p.m. I worked. Worked. Mm -hmm. Worked. Uh, do you work all week? Week. Yes, I did. Uh, I worked all weekend. All, all week. week. All week. Did you have the vacation last year? Mm -hmm. What will be your answer? Rolando? To that sorry, question. Sorry, Did you have vacation last year? Re repeat that. Oh, yes, I did. I I was vacation last year. Did you basic in vacation last year? Did you visit what? ¿Qué visitó? ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Sí, ¿qué visitó? ¿Dónde visitó? Ok, where did you where, go? Where, where tendría que ser, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Where. Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you where, go in in vacation last year? Where did you go in vacation last year? Uh, yes, I did. I I visit uh, I visit I visit on vacation. Um, the teacher me confundí. Ahí. Uh, okay, where did you go? Le está preguntando dónde uh, fue. Uh, 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 uh. Where did you go? Yes, uh -huh. yes I did. Uh, I, I went to, to go to um, a uh, beach uh, Costa del Sol, como se dice. <laughs> Lo mismo, porque es, oh, okay. es, es un nombre propio. Okay, okay, where did you go on vacation last year? So you say just I went to and you said the place. So in this case, you don't have to say I didn't because el, el, la pregunta no comienza con did. Comienza con where, okay? Where, ah, okay. And it's asking for information. Okay, okay, okay. Pay attention. How will be this question? ¿Cómo será esa pregunta? No es necesario with whom, okay? Who, who did you, who spend your did last you, vacation? Who did you spend your last vacation with at the end? The with is at the end. Who did you spend your last vacation with? ¿Con quién? Subo sus últimas vacaciones. Ajá. Oh, ok. Eh, I, I went to my family. I spent my last vacation with my family. I spent, ah, ok. I spend. Mm -hmm. Ok, S spelling here. How many well, days did you stay in your past vacation? How many days did you take? Um, yes, I did. I I did take uh, for uh, five days. Okay, it's not necessary to say yes, I did, porque no le está preguntando con did, okay? Oh, si fuera okay. con did, sí, usted puede decir yes, I did. Aquí solo menciona los días, okay? Ah, I okay, had okay. five days. Okay. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, did you work in days holiday?
Did I, you? No, I did. No, I did. I didn't. Uh, no, I didn't. Uh, yes, no, I didn't. I worked in holidays. Did you work in holidays? Okay, no es necesario days holidays. Solo holidays ya se refiere, sabemos que se refiere a los holidays, yeah. right? Ah, okay. 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 Read it. Pin it. Mm. Es que ahí repite lo mismo. Como yo le había escrito todas las preguntas a él de una sola vez, ¿verdad? Mm. Ok, ok. I see. Ok, but remember. Be careful with puntuation. Puntuación. Capitalization, por ejemplo, aquí no lleva esta capital letter. Ok. Les quiero enseñar a escribir bien, ok. Good punctuation, okay. good uh, spelling, no uh, unnecessary cap capitalization, para que usted eh, se le entienda bien lo que está escribiendo y no hayan confusiones. That will help you, okay, in the future. Okay, very good, good exercise. We're going to do more exercises like this, okay? En las tres clases que nos faltan, vamos a hacer más uh, exercises like that. I like it. Okay, I have an, another question for you. When was the last time you attended a training? What was the training about? Someone who can answer that question? Mm -hmm. When was the last time that you attended a training? Training in your job, okay? It could be about the product that you work with. Nobody? You don't remember? Teacher. Mm -hmm. Robert? Okay, my answer about the, about the question, when was the last time you attended a uh, training? Mm -hmm. I remember uh, I had a training one one month ago i remember the the topic was about about different topic for example uh, number one for safe uh, environment environment security mm -hmm. and num number two for for human Human Resources Department, for example, attendance and another. And the last one is about, about topic City Pub. City Pub is, is about is about procedures for exportation to United States. The this City Pub is created for for company American about the last the last destruction of Torre Gemelas. Wow. I okay. remember the that was the topic for okay. for the last training. Interesting. When did you receive it? Do you remember the the date i receiving i receiving one one month ago one month for ago. example last uh last month on june june okay okay good thank you thank you robert okay i have a conversation here 
it is talking about uh training okay let me read it for you it is between jack and julie hi julie this is jack how are how are things going at work hello jack everything is fine since how about you just perfect look i want to know if you attended a training last year we are sending the invitation for the new one yes i did the training i attended was about first aid and pre prevention sounds good where did it take it oh where did it take place it was L at the Crown Plaza Hotel was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean, the training. Did you find it helpful? Yes, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices. I personally learned a lot. Okay, good. Do you know that hotel? Crown Plaza? In San Salvador, yes. <laughs> yes, in San Salvador. <laughs> okay. Do you have questions? Please let me know if you have. First A means uh, primeros auxilios, okay? Aid. Mm -hmm. First aid information. First, first aid. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um. If you don't have questions, we are going to practice pronunciation. Let me know, please. Who wants to be a volunteer? Okay, thank you so much. Okay, Jose and Daniela, you're first. Okay, teacher. Okay, I'm going to start. Hi, Julie, this is Jack. How are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended a training last year. We are sent a, a training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attend was about the first aid and prevention sounds good where did what did it take place it was held at the chrome plaza hotel do you recommend it i mean the training did you find find it helpful yes absolutely most of those were placed with the speakers and practice. I personally learned a lot. Okay, good job. Okay, um, attended. Remember the rule when the verb end with D is. The sounds at the end is ed, okay? Id attended. Repeat that. Attended. Attended. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is these sounds are joined. Are joined. Están unidos, okay? Por eso se lee most of fast. Most of fast. Pueden decirlo uh, y también uh, separado, pero usually we, we read it or we pronounce together, okay? Most of us. Most of us. Okay. 
and this please list okay 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 so now will be <clears throat> thank you so much Jose and Daniela okay now Silvia and Gilberto Gilberto you will be Jack okay hi Yuli this is Jack I would seen going a gore hello Jack Everything is fine. Thank you. How about you? You perfect. Look, I want to know if you attended attended and training last year. We are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training is attended was about the first and it and prevent prevention. So go. Where did you where did it take place? It's what Hill held and the Chrome Plus Hotel. Do you recommend it? I mean the training. Do you find it in the egg pool? Yes, absolutely. Most of so were pleasant. Uh, why the speaker and speaker speakers and practice I personally re learn learn a lot thank okay you. thank you so much okay yes absolutely most of us were pleased with the speakers and practices pleased. I personally like, learned uh, a lot Ah, o sea que sería yes, absolute, absolutely, así. Uh -huh. okay. Most of you most, were pleasant. Most, most of us. Most of us were pleasant. Most of us were pleasant. Why the speakers? With. With the speakers, speakers and, practice. and practices. And, and personally learned. A lot. A, lot. A, lot. a lot. Okay, a lot. thank you so much. Now, Cindy and Julio. Julio, you will be Jack. Okay, I begin. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Uh, hi, Julie. This is Jack. How are the uh, I, how are things going at work? Hello, Jack. Everything is fine. Thanks. How about you? Uh, just perfect. Look, I want to know if you attend attend a training last year. Uh, we are sending the invitation for the new one. Yes, I did. The training I attend was about first aid and prevention. Uh, sounds good. Where did it take place? It was held at the Crown Plaza Hotel. Do you recommend it? Uh, I mean, I mean uh, the training. Did you find it helpful? Yeah, absolutely. Most of us were pleased with the speaker and practices. I personally learned a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good, both of you. Thank you so much. Learned. Okay. Try to emphasize the pronunciation with the rules that we studied yesterday with the ending of the verse in past tense with D, T, and E, D, or I, I, D, okay? Good. Thank you so much um, for your participation there. Okay. What type of training did Julie attend? Mm -hmm. Who wants to answer that question? First I fair, fair and prevention. Okay, good. Did she find the training a great help? Did she? 
Yes, she did. Yes, yes she did. She said, yes, she, did. she said it was helpful, right? Okay, in your opinion, how often should training take place in your company? That is a personal question. What is your opinion about that? Repeat the question, teacher. In your opinion, the question number three. In your opinion, how often should training take place in your company? In my opinion, teacher, the training for the employees um the training should every every month because the training is very important to to achieve the goal for the company if for the if for the engagement for the employees the employees employees yes mm -hmm. okay good good opinion robert Someone else? No? Okay, we're going to continue. <clears throat> Imagine you, attend, you attended two of these training. Express why you would recommend them. One of them is self-motivation training. Okay. The topics that you're going to, let me see. Oh, no, no. The name of the trainings are all of these, the one that we can see here. Okay, self-motivation trainings, okay. Anger management, customer service, telephone etiquette, first aid training. Okay, imagine that you attend one of them. Select the, the best for you, the one that you consider that will be better, okay? And try to use these kind of phrases to recommend it, okay? For example, uh, the one that is given the answer here says, I recommend... Anger. Okay, anger. I'm sorry. Anger management, that is why. I, I highly recommend this training because it helped. Okay, it helped. Remember, no. with ended with when the cuando termina con P, es, son, the sounds will be T. It helped. No. Uh -huh, no. It helped me control my emotions. Okay. Anger. Anger. Management is like a, um, <laughs> so how to control your strong emotions, okay? How to avoid that you feel this feeling. Anger. Anger. And how to say, right? So I, I would like to, to, to take it because sometimes I cannot control my emotions. Sometimes. Not all the times, okay? Sometimes. <laughs> so I I guess that will be good to take it. Okay. Uh I don't know which one do do you consider that will be one uh the best for you? First eye training. First eye training? Okay. Why? Why? Because um, it's very important for the situation in the country, for earthquake, for raining, mm -hmm. and, and for other other for for prepare the employees for emergency, fire, or other. Okay. Yeah. Emergency. For me, for me, it's a good election uh, because we need to know uh, that um, uh, action we need to take uh, in case of accident. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Yes, that is that is good election because yes, everybody should know about these kind of trainings, right? We don't know when we are going to need uh this kind of training. We need to be prepared all the time. Okay, good. So what else? For me. Mm -hmm. For me customer service. It's, it's very important because uh, depends function uh, the function the, the the company. Okay, customer service is very good. That 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 will be good for you. Okay, yes, it's interesting too. If you work with customers directly. Um, uh, not only face to face, but also over the phone or by emails. So you need to know about customer service, how to handle difficult customers, uh, when they are mad, when they are angry. Um, you need to know how to handle that kind of situation. Okay. Also, uh, customers that are that are, I mean, calm, que son calmados, they are the, the, the easier ones, son los más fáciles de manejar, right? But also you need to, you need to have that good customer service to, to feel them good, to make feel them good, right? To feel that they care, they are important for the company. That is the main purpose of that customer service. Okay, good. Thank you, Gilberto. Who else? Another opinion? Another opinion that you may have? Someone else? No? Okay, good job. Um, now we're going to write an email. It says write an email recommending a workshop or training course and providing information about it. So the one that you selected. So try to search more information about that. So you can use Google if you want and try to give an explanation in the email. Why? Uh, you're going to send an, the email to someone, okay, a classmate. Vamos a simular que estamos enviando el email, okay? Uh, and then you're going to write the subject, okay? So, to, para quien, from, the quien, and then the subject. Here I have an example. Okay, es no de lo, de, de lo mismo tema, no es del mismo tema, but that is an example using simple pass. Estamos usando simple okay past simple okay here we have it dear fulanito okay the name of the person okay uh recently we decided to open a new sales office in new york Aha. first i arranged a meeting with the finance department to discuss the project we prepared a budget with details of various costs involved. Then we collected information about possible locations for the new office. We considered two options, one in, in Green Beach Village and the other near Central Park. After doing more research, I wrote a report for the board of directors. Unfortunately, we uh, made a mistake when we estimated the cost of the exchange rate change it. And so we didn't keep within our budget, okay? So this is an example, okay? It is just an example about the email that you are going to write but you are going to write about the training. So you can say, okay, for example, 
Dear Gilberto, I am writing this email to you because I want to recommend a training. So the training will be, uh, the training will be, I want to recommend to, to you customer service. Customer service. Uh-huh. Uh, I, I already uh, took this training, Yatomel training, and it is very useful. It is very important. If you want to manage your customers very well, I recommend it that you take it. We have uh, spaces available to take the training so you can give more information, okay? Information that you consider that will be important, okay? And then we're going to exchange uh, emails to classmates and mail that respond to each other. So try to, to uh, think who will be your, uh, your partner, a quien se lo van a enviar, and we are going to mm -mm. do you want to use real emails or just we work in Padlet? Podemos usar sus emails, sus correos, um los cor sus correos reales, y pueden después um compartir pantalla o enviarme una picture del correo que reciban and you will reply it. How do you want to do it? Or we can also use Padlet. También podemos usar Padlet como este, solo que ahora lo vamos a hacer en forma de correo y no de, y no de conversación. Which one do you want? ¿Cuál quieren? Parlet is Parlet. right. Okay. Okay, good. We're going to use the same. Vamos a usar el mismo. Solo que le voy a, a borrar lo que ya tenemos aquí. Let me erase it. Try to think about who will be your, your partner and which training you are going to recommend an email when of your partner recommending training And then we're going to okay. Just let me remember how to raise this. Here the, you have the link. You can start um, writing there. Pueden comenzar a escribir el email. Okay, there you have it. You have the link in the chat. Okay, everybody will select someone Todos van a elegir a alguien, okay, de sus compañeros, and you are going to start writing the, the email. So, in this, here where you are going to write to, for example, to Gilberto. Ok, 
okay, from edit. Okay, dear Gilberto, I am writing this email to you because I want to recommend training. And you continue. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> the reason why you are recommending that training. Because and then the person... ¿Quién dice que no entiende? ¿Silvia? Yes, teacher. Ok, vamos a enviarle un correo a un compañero. Ajá, usted, sí. usted elige a quién. Ah, ok, ok. Pero aquí, en, el, en este, eh, en el link que les envié, Ajá. ahí mismo, ahí mismo van a, a elaborar el correo. Okay, es como en forma de correo el post que ustedes van a, van a crear. Eh, cuando ya hayan terminado el correo, la persona que ustedes le están enviando les va a responder aquí. Ah, Solo okay. va a ser un post, un reply. Ajá. No va a ser una conversación, ah, okay. sino que en forma de email. Ajá. Ah, vaya de acuerdo. Ok. ¿Qué es, Robert? Podríamos hacerlo en la misma pareja que hicimos la conversación. You, de you decide, no problem, you can decide who. Usted, okay. usted decide a quién se lo va a escribir, esa persona le va a responder. Um, pero usted puede ser que usted reciba otro correo de alguien más y usted va a responder ese otro. Okay? Los que reciba tengo que responder. Yes. Okay. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> So it doesn't matter if we don't finish today. Doesn't matter. But I want to see that uh, al menos ustedes hayan escrito en un correo a una persona and tomorrow you can reply. Okay? Okay, teacher. I get it. Okay, good. We have, uh, let me see, 43. We have 10 minutes. Vamos a dejar 10 minutos para escribir el correo. At 9.53, vamos a, vamos a hacer las tareas que tenemos pendientes. ¿Ok? Ok, teacher. Good. You have 10 minutes. Tienen 10 minutos. Try to use uh, past tense, ¿ok? Traten de usar el tiempo pasado, si pueden incluirlo en algunas oraciones.
And if you have questions, please let me know I'm here, okay? Okay, good. From Julia to Robert. But give him more information, uh, Julia. Give him more information like uh, when will be the training, how many hours, where, Okay, the place where where will be Julio Lo puede editar, okay? Click here in the tree in the tree dot yes. and then you can edit the post. Uh -huh. uh, what uh, more information? Yes, add more information like when where okay. and how long will take the training okay thank you mm -hmm.
From Andres Martinez to from oh to Cindy. Okay. Okay, Cindy, you had the first one there. Richard. Mm -hmm. Es que como nadie me escribía ni yo tampoco, o sea, yo le escribí a Gilberto y Katy me escribió a mí. Está bien. Okay, the first one that I can see is from Andres. Okay, to Cindy, para Cindy, de Andres. That is the first one, okay? Then I can see one from Liliana to Gilberto. Okay, but it's missing more information there, Liliana. Okay, escríbale más, escríbale más información. Okay. As I said, where will be the, the place, when, cuando, how long it will take, and more specific details if you consider important. Okay. Okay. Remember to con to to follow the format. Okay, from to. Así como les di el ejemplo, así como están los otros, Silvia. Okay, sabemos que de Silvia para Gerardo. So in this case, will be to Gerardo. Entonces es mala, teacher. From Silvia. No, yo solo estoy arreglando. Ah. Dear Gerardo. Ok, pero aquí le falta más información, Silvia. Hi, Gerardo. Ah. There was a problem with my computer. With my computer, I was starting it, but I was, was too hot to turn it on. I recommend it for the problem. Ok, estamos haciéndole una invitación a esa persona para que vaya a un training. The reason why... Uh, you want to, that person to attend the training, okay? Ustedes tienen que tener una razón por la cual quieren que esa persona vaya okay. a este training. Le van a decir la razón por la cual ustedes consideran que es importante. They go to the training. They are going to provide a place, time, and how long the training will take. Okay, ahí le falta, okay? It's still missing information. But you, okay. I will give you time until tomorrow. Que okay, lo pueden hacer mañana. And, pero si ustedes quieren avanzar, you can still do it today for tomorrow. And the ones that have received emails, you can reply. Pueden responder los que, a quienes le han enviado. <laughs> I think that, that I, I understand different because I think that we are going to write an uh, email like... Uh, we are going to um, ask for the for the experience for something, but it's like um, invite someone to to go to the training. So yes, it's always so go, yeah okay. So I'm going to change my. It's my... okay. <laughs> you can do it, Andres. No problem. <clears throat> I'm sorry. When you have questions, please ask. Okay, cuando tengan preguntas, eh, díganme to explain me to explain you better. Porque a veces no sé si 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 ustedes me entienden. Yo me entiendo. Yo creo que ustedes me entienden porque yo me entiendo que estoy explicando, pero I don't know. Okay, if you understand, let me know cuando eso pase. Okay. Um. Good. We are going to check the homework. Vamos a hacer la tarea. So, the homework 16 and 17. Vamos a hacer la 16 y 17. Please open the platform. Abre la plataforma. Otra cosa que les quería decir, guys. A algunos, no todos, ¿ok? Pero algunos se me han descuidado en la plataforma. It is part of your uh, course, ¿ok? 
50% de su nota del curso. Please do it. Work on it. Porque ya vamos a terminar el curso. ¿Ok? El lunes es el último día. Ok, number one. We have here a scramble questions. What will be the first one? How you are going to, to order it? Gilberto, give me number one. Eh, Rolando. No. You, Gilberto. Uh, give me number one for the for the whole world 16. Vamos, estamos haciendo la tarea 16. What? What did? What did? You do yesterday. Okay, what did you do yesterday? Okay, good. <clears throat> that is number one, right? Number two, uh, Jose Andres. What time did she arrive? Did she arrive? Did she arrive, did she arrive at work? Okay, good. Oh no. Okay. Number three, Robert. Robert. Okay, ahora the teacher. Let me see. Number three. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Let me see them. The second he meeting. Okay, uh, did did he come to the meet? To the meeting. Yesterday. Yesterday. <clears throat> meeting yesterday. Okay. Did the meeting yesterday? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. Salvador. Number four. Okay. Did she see? Did she see, see it? <laughs> Did she see it? Ella, si ella lo vio. Okay. No sé qué, pero si vio a eso o, o a algo, no sé. Ok. Uh, number five. Uh, Rolando. Ajá. Buen. Buen, buen. When, where? You born. You born. Okay. Very good. All of them are correct. Okay. There you have them. If you... Sorry, teacher. Le estaba hablando en mute. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Sorry. No, no problem. <clears throat> Ok, si no, la, no les queda tiempo de hacer la tarea en este momento, si ustedes no pueden porque están usando el mismo celular, you can do it later. Solo vean el último pedacito del video, los últimos minutos, and there you can do it if you need help. Ok, number 17. Uh, okay. 17, ok. Uh, let me see, Mauricio, are you there? Yes, sir. I'm here. Please read the the paragraph that we have there. Okay. Mary went to a training in Guatemala last Thursday. The training was interesting because she learned how to fix the equipment he uses and how to prevent damage on it. The presenter was really helpful and he clarified 
all doubt. Mary had, he used a, he used a computer to present examples during the speech. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, the training was in Central America, true or false? True. It's true, 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 true in Guatemala. Okay. Mary was helpful in the training, true or false? False. false. Okay. The training was good? True. 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 The training was about work related equipment? True. 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 The trainer was prepared and used technology? True. 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 Okay, very good. Okay, all of them are correct. Very good, guys. Okay, good job. Thank you so much. There you have it. There you have 16 and 17, okay? Tomorrow we have the class 18 and we're going to work the homework 18. Okay, it will be like a review, okay? About the, the, the previous classes, about past tense. And also we're going to have the, uh, we're going to end this activity about the emails, okay? Good. Okay. Good job. Okay. Good Thank you. Thank you so much, guys, for your attendance. Okay, see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye.